Aim. The aim was to investigate whether when a person is in a state of physiological arousal that has no immediate explanation and what role cognitive factors play in the experience of that motion, for example. How we label it. Also, the researchers aim to see whether when we do have an appropriate explanation for feeling a certain emotion, we always label it as the most appropriate emotion. For example, stimulus, a shadowy figure of a man in a parking lot at night that walks towards you. Simultaneous experience of an emotional and physiological arousal, trembling hands and an increased rapid heartbeat, perspiration. B. Cognitive label, associating the physiological reactivity to a cognitive label such as the emotion of fear. Hypothesis. 1. If an individual experiences an arousal state for which they have no adequate or immediate explanation, they will deem and label this state and narrate slash describe the way they felt in terms of cognition slash understanding present to them at that moment in time. 2. If an individual experiences an arousal state for which they have an adequate slash appropriate explanation, for example, I feel this because I have just intercepted an injection of adrenaline then they will be unlikely to label the way they feel in terms of the alternative cognitions slash understanding present. 3. If an individual is put in a situation, which formerly could have emotionally stimulated them, they will react in an emotional way or undergo emotions only if they are in a state of physiological arousal. Prerequisites for the research The experimental test of the above-mentioned propositions requires the following. 1. The experimental manipulation of a state of physiological arousal. 2. The manipulation of the extent to which the subject has an appropriate or proper explanation of his, her bodily state, activating cognition. 3. The creation of situations from which explanatory cognitions may be derived, situational context. Design, sampling of participants. This consisted of 184 males. Androcentric, not generalizable. They were students at college, attending introductory psychology classes at Minnesota University. Health records of subjects were checked with the student health service to make certain that the adrenaline would not adversely affect the participants or cause any harm. Ethical consideration. In order to satisfy the mentioned experimental requirements, the participants were told that they were a part of a study on the effects of vitamin supplements on vision. Get complete notes in PDF and book form from our Amazon store. Link given in description.